Vicky, lots of frustration expressed at the scene of the crime. Veteran police officers venting their anger after a daytime shooting, and here's why. The gunfire rang out at a housing complex which sits between an active construction site on one side and a Montessori school on the other side. The large number of green evidence cones filling a parking lot at 12th and Ali tells the story. Four men sitting in a car under fire. One is killed, three critically wounded. People three blocks away could hear the barrage of gunfire. And we was outside smoking and heard three, I mean six shots, you know. And like I said, there was loud shots. And I told all the other residents, let's go in the house. According to neighbors, the four men who were shot were parked in the car in this lot. Someone, a person or persons, fired into the car. Well, the driver was hit, but he took off. He went down this little exit way and out onto the street, but he didn't get very far because his car was riddled with bullet holes. This is just so frustrating in broad daylight. You have individuals out here working. You have two schools in close proximity, and you have individuals that feel comfortable enough to try and take someone's life, four people's lives. Philip Baker is the family resource coordinator at an elementary school next to the parking lot where the shooting happened. Baker says students had to be rushed off the playground. And our number one rule is to get every kid safe, get them in a safe place, uh, get them all the resources they need to be able to deal with traumatic uh, situations like this. In addition to being a school employee, Baker is also a Louisville Metro Councilman. If our kids got to be able to realize their dreams, and so that's the biggest thing. So please, please, please stop the violence. So again, one man dead, three left in critical condition following that shooting in the Russell neighborhood this afternoon. So far, no arrest has been made. Reporting live in studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.